Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah from Running for Heroes. Tonight we're doing two miles, one by me and one by Jaden. The first mile is by me, and I'm running tonight for a fallen officer. Tonight I'm running for fallen officer Sean Slakansky. He worked with the McGeesport Police Department in Pennsylvania, and his end of watch was February 6th of 2023. He lost his life after he was shot and killed after responding to a domestic incident. He was 32 years old at the time of his passing, serving three years of service with the McGeesport Police Department and previously served with the Sherloy Regional Police Department and leaves behind a fiance and an infant daughter. So now I'm running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps on the track of my school, which is the equivalent of one mile in his honor. And I'm joined here tonight by many first responders, supporters, and my whole family who are joining us. Uh, before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and the palm of three hearts I'm going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in this evening tonight, we're running two miles in honor of two heroes recently lost in the line of duty. This first mile tonight in honor of Fallen Officer Sean Slagansky. He worked with the McKeesport Police Department in Pennsylvania, tragically losing his life February the 6th, 2023. He lost his life after he was shot and killed while responding to a domestic situation. He was 32 years old at the time of his passing, having served three years with the McKeesport Police Department. He had previously served with the Chalaroy Regional Police Department, and he sadly leaves behind a fiance and an infant daughter. Zachariah now completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile to honor fallen officer Sean Slavansky here tonight. Was appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah and our youth runners and tonight helping to pay tribute to fallen officer Sean Slagansky. We have members of our home county agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, neighboring county, Orange County Sheriff's Office here tonight. Running with Zechariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection from the Orlando International Airport. And playing pipes tonight, we have a piper from the Central Florida First Responder, Bagpipes and Drums Band. Also running with Zechariah, one of our fellow youth runners, Jaden, who will be doing the second mile this evening. Once again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a three-year veteran of the McKeesport Police Department, Fallen Officer Sean Slagansky, who tragically lost his life February the 6th, 2023, after he was shot and killed while responding to a domestic situation. Previously served with Charleroi Regional Police Department, and tragically he leaves behind a fiance and a young infant daughter. Zechariah now completing his second of seven laps to honor Officer Slagansky tonight. Mile, mile completed by our youth runners a unique flag is carried and that flag is sent to the families of these heroes who we run to honor and tonight Zachariah carries the blue line flag to honor officer Sean Slagansky this flag will begin to work its way to his fiance and his infant daughter if you'd like information on how you can be part of this mission please visit running the number four heroes.org and we'll also do a follow-up post later tonight as Zechariah completes lap number three and begins lap number four, I'm going to go silent as the bagpipes play, and I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero, fallen officer Sean Slagansky. We offer up our heartfelt prayers to his agency, the McKeesport Police Department in Pennsylvania, and that community, having now lost multiple heroes in the last few months due to gunfire. We also extend our heartfelt prayers to his fiance, his infant daughter, and the rest of his family. Our hope and prayer is that this run honors him well tonight and that his service 
is never forgotten. So 
any final words tonight for the family of Fallen Officer Sean Slagonski? To the entire family of Fallen Officer Sean Slagonski, everybody with the McGeesport Police Department in Pennsylvania, along with his fiance and infant daughter, we hope all will be healed very soon through the passing of the loved one. Um, this is another incident where an officer was shot and killed. Uh, one of the biggest reasons for the officer shot and killed in line of duty nowadays is for domestic disputes, domestic violence, or domestic situations. And tonight, we're running for one of those. Officer Slokansky was probably going through this call, and on the same mindset of any other call he'd go to, get there as fast as possible, help out whatever, whoever's in danger, and solve a situation. Unfortunately, um, this domestic situation turned into a shooting where one of the people involved with this domestic situation shot him. This is a very significant loss. Pennsylvania has had quite a few first responders already pass away this year. Um, our prayers are gonna stay with all of you, including everybody with this department. We pray this one helps you out as much as possible. If you are part of the family, of all officers like Anski, I'll be sending you this blind flag around it's time to hear his honor very soon, along with a handwritten note I've written that is ready to be sent down in your hero's name from one more time from all of us here tonight. This, we hope this one helps you heal. If all of you tonight would not like to join us in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second will dedicate one amazing thing officers of Kansas City during his life, including as a first responder in his community. Following this will also be a prayer. So if all of you now please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds, please do at this time. Dear God, tonight we had a one-mile run and our fallen officer, Sean Slikansky, up in who passed away up in Pennsylvania. God, I pray this run helps you, helps the family and department heal as quickly as possible. I pray that this whole department can come together in honor of him and continue to serve every single call, knowing that he's by their side at every call. And I pray you watch every first responder who go to domestic disputes every single hour, every single minute, every single day, because this is... One of, if not the main reason, we have shooting deaths in the line of duty for our officers. Thank you again, God, again, God and Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us this one-mile run. We saw one more to do tonight, and that's going to be run by Jaden. It's for a fallen firefighter out of Oregon. If all of you please join us in that run, it means a lot to their family. We hope all of you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God bless you all.